A winning dropshipping product does not have to be problem solving. And most people get crazy when they hear this statement. However, the reality is there's way more important things than being a problem solving product. Unfortunately, everybody on YouTube preaches that the main thing is that if you solve a person's problem, you're gonna be making money. That's it. As long as you solve problems, you're making money as easy as that. However, in reality, there are so many other things which are way more important than actually being problem solving. And I'm going to explain a couple of them here. So let's imagine this. You have a product which is really, really problem solving. However, it doesn't have the best margin and the product itself is very broad. So it's not easy to target. Basically, everybody can buy it. And it's not like a dog product where you can clearly target dog owners. It's broad. And also on top of that, no, it doesn't make sense at all to buy multiple pieces of the same item. Okay, so that product, if you only have one of them, you're set for life, you don't need anything else. So your average order value is gonna be decreasing by that drastically, okay? And on top of that, nobody else is selling this product right now except a really great looking brand which basically just have their shit down, okay? Imagine this scenario. You're not gonna be able to sell this product, for sure, I guarantee you that. And it's not gonna be helpful that this product is problem solving. And those are just a couple of examples to make it clear. And there's way more to that. I cannot explain everything here because you probably never even heard of those criteria. But basically you need to understand there's like a 10 checkboxes which all of them have to be checked before you even consider selling the product. And it annoys me that most people think that the marketing matters way more. And you can sell every product, you just need to hit the right marketing angles and be really good about showing how this product is going to solve the problem you're currently facing. So in theory, again, this sounds great because yes, if you do have a problem and somebody comes up with a solution, obviously you're going to make, pay money for them. Great. But why would you sell a product which, for example, just doesn't look like it's going to make really good creatives out of that? If you take that product and try your best and find the best clips out there and even film your own things, the product itself just doesn't give the opportunity to make really good creatives. Why would you sell that product? Because why would you make your life so hard and sell this product instead of picking something which does both? First of all, your product can solve a problem. It, it doesn't have to, but it, it's for sure like it's going to be beneficial. However, a strong creative is going to be way more important than that. Okay, if you have a product which is not solving anything, but your product is just, if you just show your product, it's just gonna look amazing and everybody's gonna stop scrolling when they see it on Instagram. Of course, that's a better product because the creative is just better, all right? And you don't need to make your life hard by selecting something where you need to actually go out there and have really good marketing skills to be able to sell this. That's not, that's not necessary at all. The, most, the, the, top, the first five products I've sold in dropshipping, they, number one, four of them didn't solve a problem. Number two, those were just the low hanging fruits. Like I was selecting only 10 out of 10 perfect, perfect, perfect product. Why? Because why the fuck would I not do that? Why would I sell something which is not super, super simple to sell? Okay. And you have to get this idea out of your head that you're this marketing expert, which already has studied marketing or has some experience in marketing or worked in other marketing areas. That does not matter, all right? Just select a product which is really, really good and people will buy it if you just show it in front of them in a nice way where the creative is really good and the store just doesn't look like it's gonna scam you. If you have those three things, you're gonna make money, that's it, okay? However, that's only doable if you really understand the criteria of what a winning product is. And this is exactly what we cover in depth in the program itself, where basically you and me are gonna constantly have like one-on-one -on -one calls where we find out, where we basically go about selecting products together. So you make a list with all the products which fit my criteria, which I'm gonna tell you, and I personally go over that list and tell you this one is good, this one is bad, this one is good, this one's bad. We narrow things down until we basically have the top product and only then we're gonna start selling that, okay? So if you have any questions about product research or generally any questions, what you can do is you can DM me on Instagram. I actually started to be a little bit more active on there, just started a new account. And yeah, DM me there, ask me whatever you want to. And also if you want to join the mentoring program, click the link below, sign up for a free consultation session and yeah, talk to you there.